When Downton Abbey first hit our screens back in 2010, it quickly became a smash hit and went on to feature dozens of actors throughout its six seasons. Here's what the cast has been up to since the popular period drama came to an end. Michelle Dockery portrayed Lady Mary, the eldest Crawley daughter in Downton Abbey. With her snobby exterior concealing a kinder disposition, Mary was a firm fan favorite. Additionally, Dockery was relatively unknown prior to the show, having guest starred in a few British shows and appearing in the 2012 film Anna Karenina. Since Downton Abbey, Dockery branched out from the posh girl stereotype to take on some very different roles. In 2017, she played Alice in Godless, another period drama, but this time a western. Next, Dockery took on the role of Letty in Good Behavior. In this show, she played a con artist who'd just gotten out of prison. Talk about a contrast. Then, in 2019, Dockery starred in Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman, a modern-day crime flick. While her character was pretty pulled together, when she opened her mouth, it was clear that she was no Lady Mary. Roger's supposed to be working down there and you're up here blowing his brains out. As she told Tatler, being able to play a character whose accent has an Essex sound as mine does, I love that. It would be difficult to go through life without coming across Dame Maggie Smith at least once. Smith is an undisputed titan of the stage and screen with credits such as Harry Potter, Gosford Park, and the prime of Miss Jean Brody, along with countless Shakespearean productions. To that end, Downton Abbey certainly seemed right up her alley, and her incisive portrayal of the Crawley family matriarch made for some great gifts. However, as it turns out, Smith wasn't exactly sad to see Downton go. In an interview on The Graham Norton Show, she explained that since being on the show, she started getting stopped much more frequently. When asked if she was glad that the show had come to an end, she quickly replied, Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I really am. Smith went on to explain laughingly that her character, quote, must have been 110 by the time the show finished. After the show ended, Smith slowed down in her acting career, though she did voice a character in the animated film Sherlock Gnomes and reprise her role as the Dowager Countess of Grantham in the Downton Abbey movie. You are the future of Downton. Hugh Bonneville is another well-known British actor that just seems to pop up in everything. His previous credits include Notting Hill, Paddington, Doctor Who, and much more. Suffice to say, he was no stranger to British TV when he was cast as Robert Crawley on Downton Abbey. And since the show has finished, he's kept himself incredibly busy with other projects. One of Bonneville's more surprising projects was a documentary about Jesus Christ called Countdown to Calvary, for which he traveled to Israel. Even though Bonneville has moved on to other projects, he seems to have a lingering fondness for Downton. As he told The Independent when the movie came out, if the movie works, let's do another. It could run and run. After all, how many Star Trek movies are there? For Laura Carmichael, who portrayed Lady Edith on Downton Abbey, the show was certainly life-changing. For one thing, it launched her entire career. As she told BBC America, I feel very lucky in that Downton was really my first job and it opened so many doors for me. The show also introduced her to her partner, Michael C. Fox. Fox portrayed Andrew Parker in the fifth season of Downton. After Downton, Carmichael went on to star in The Spanish Princess, another period drama. After that project, she played Agatha in The Secrets She Keeps, a modern-day series about a pregnant woman who develops an obsession for another pregnant woman. For Carmichael, it was the perfect contrast. She said of the experience, I had been doing The Spanish Princess as well as Downton, so I definitely wanted to look at projects that were quite modern. Sounds like this dark part was the perfect change for her. Elizabeth McGovern played Cora Crawley on Downton Abbey, the American mother of the family. After the show finished, she appeared in a range of films that were all complete departures from Downton. Showing Roots was an American film set in the 70s, and The Wife was another American film about adultery set in the present day. Then, in The Commuter, a modern-day Liam Neeson thriller, she played Neeson's wife. In The Chaperone, however, McGovern returned to the world of period drama in a story about a silent screen star and her chaperone. In 2019, McGovern also starred in a mini-series of War of the Worlds. She told Variety this modern thriller series was a welcome change from the more limited roles of women in historical dramas, saying, "...with all these period pieces, I do sometimes feel like I'm in a straitjacket. As a woman, so little of the time you have a voice, and these didn't." In Downton Abbey, Joanne Froggett portrayed Anna, the always sweet housemaid who fell in love with Brendan Coyle's Mr. Bates. Froggett wasn't new to acting, but she's certainly taken on some interesting roles since Downton wrapped. From 2017 to 2020, the actress starred in the ITV drama Liar. The modern series follows Froggett's character as she tries to get her rapist convicted of his crime. In 2020, Froggett spoke to BTTV about the impact of Liar, saying, a lot of people came up to me in the street when it was shown in the UK. It was probably one of the biggest reactions to anything I've done emotionally. Everyone was talking about it.
She said that Liar was one of her most difficult projects, adding, It's a challenge to play someone where we couldn't tell if she was telling the truth or not. Following Liar, Froggett got to work on the ITV drama series Angela Black. Alan Leach played Tom Branson in Downton Abbey, the one-time chauffeur of the family who married the youngest daughter. As the actor explained to the Los Angeles Times, he wasn't exactly pleased with the show's ending. He told a reporter, I felt that there was a lot left open for him. However, the loose ending actually meant that this character had more to do in the subsequent film. He said, Looking back now, I'm delighted because it meant he has this arc in the movie. Since Downton, Leach has definitely moved on. In fact, he moved to LA to marry American actress Jessica Blair Herman. The couple have since had their first child. Leach also took on some exciting new roles. In 2019's Bohemian Rhapsody, Leach played Paul Prenter, the former manager and lover of Freddie Mercury. As he told Queerty, the experience was a real contrast to Downton. With this bigger budget project, he finally got the luxury of more time on set. With Leach settled in LA, it looks like we may see him popping up in more Hollywood movies down the line. Jim Carter was a crucial part of the Downton Abbey family. While Hugh Bonneville played the head of the house, Carter played Mr. Carson, the butler. Julian Fellows, the show's creator, told Town & Country, Carson is the father of Downton. I am the butler at Downton. My name is Carson. It turns out Carter probably didn't really leave Carson behind after filming finished. In fact, he's actually married to one of his co-stars, Imelda Staunton, who played Lady Maud Bagshaw in the Downton Abbey film. As she explained, it's no accident that Jim's playing that part. He's as honorable as Mr. Carson. Since Downton Abbey ended, Carter has appeared in a few films and shows, most notably as Pope Boniface in the medieval drama Nightfall. In fact, he actually co-starred with a Downton alum, Tom Cullen. Talking about their experience in Nightfall, Cullen told Yahoo, I remember the first scene we did. I was like, oh, it's Mr. Carson with us. But he's such a great actor that within 10 minutes, I just completely forgot. Brendan Coyle played the lovable Mr. Bates in Downton Abbey, a quiet, gruff servant who falls for and marries the maid, Anna. After Downton came to an end, the actor went on to appear in various films and shows, including Me Before You and Requiem. However, Coyle's main focus seems to be the theater. In 2018, Coyle spoke to The Independent about returning to the stage. What he was after in his work, he said, was, quote, great writing. He listed Requiem and an Arthur Miller play, The Price, as examples of post-Downton projects he'd accepted for their scripts. Coyle then went on to perform in St. Nicholas, a one-man show by Irish playwright Connor McPherson. As Coyle explained, he'd been obsessed with McPherson since the 90s, saying, "...his writing struck me in a way that no writing has ever before or since." Lily James is probably one of the biggest stars to come out of the Downton Abbey series. Prior to appearing on the show as Lady Rose, her credits were pretty minimal. However, after Downton, her career well and truly took off. In fact, James has starred in countless major films, including Cinderella, Baby Driver, Darkest Hour, The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, Rebecca, and much more. James' rise to fame has practically been stratospheric, and as James put it, it was all thanks to Downton. She told the glossary, That show enabled me to be seen more, and that's all you really want as an actor, to be able to be seen. Even though James seems to be in just about every film being made right now, she still has big plans for the future. In fact, she's even considered producing her own female-driven films with a school friend. We can't wait to see what's next for her. Dan Stevens' time on Downton Abbey was short-lived. He played Lady Mary's love interest Matthew until he asked to leave the show in 2012, and his character was killed off, much to the disappointment of fans. As the actor told The Telegraph at the time, his decision to leave was motivated by a desire to have, quote, a chance to do other things. So, what other things did he do? Well, Stevens' career has certainly been busy and varied. In The Guest, Stevens took on an American thriller. Then, in Beauty and the Beast, he starred alongside Emma Watson as the famous Disney prince-turned-beast. And in The Man Who Invented Christmas, Stevens played the famous author Charles Dickens. He told IndieWire in 2017 that his career has given him truly challenging roles. He said of his role in Beauty and the Beast, I think I was mildly terrified, but that's really generally what drives a lot of my decisions these days, is calibrating the right amount of terror. Playing Mary's love interest Henry in Downton Abbey wasn't exactly an odd project for Matthew Good, as the British actor's career has been filled with period dramas. Brideshead Revisited, Belle, The Imitation Game, and Death Comes to Pemberley are just a few examples. 
Apparently, Good didn't mind returning to the world of period dramas after his stint on Downton either. He played Tony, Princess Margaret's husband in The Crown, Sidney in The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, Philip in Ordeal by Innocence, and David in Four Kids and It. In an interview with the Belfast Telegraph, Good discussed another post downton project called A Discovery of Witches, which follows a vampire and a witch as they travel through various centuries. Sounds like the ultimate period drama. One thing's for sure, Good is clearly pretty comfortable stepping back in time for a role. Jessica Brown Findlay was just 21 when she was cast in the first season of Downton Abbey as Sybil, the youngest Crawley sister. As the actress explained to you, she's done a lot of growing up since the show. Additionally, when Findlay decided to leave Downton, she was still very young. In fact, she'd only just left university. Over the years, Findlay set to work cultivating a healthy work-life balance. Unfortunately, shortly after departing Downton, Findlay was hacked by a criminal who exposed private photos, which led to a resurgence of an old eating disorder. However, However, with therapy, Findlay found a better balance and a better relationship with her body. Findlay has also been busy with her career, starring in multiple stage productions in London, including Hamlet opposite Andrew Scott, while also appearing in dozens of film and TV projects. Looks like her departure from Downton Abbey ended up working pretty well for her. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.